Uh, Christoph was starting the interrogative design group here at MIT. Its main focus is to pursue design, to really raise more questions and responses than design typically does. I mean, design would typically be to solve a problem, to solve a situation. Um, but interrogative design sort of strives to raise questions and get people to think more. So my background is in industrial design, which is more product design, which is obviously more market orientated or consumer orientated. Um, so to see design being used in a way that will trigger questions and make people uncomfortable maybe and not necessarily just try to seduce somebody out of paying money for something. So to see it used in this manner was, it was an eye opener. What we were doing earlier with uh, the sort of multiple projections and, and is very helpful in the whole process of these projects. So to be able to sit down and on a tabletop, you know, make gestures and, and see what they look like and see the, the limitations of, the, the, of your arms and of your hands and, and to see the type of range you might need from just that, that experience, we kind of use that as a, as a little playground, you know, to, to, to get a sense of what we might have to make, what we might have to construct, what type of equipment we might have to design. Um, you know, we've, we've done these, the cameras on the head, we've done cameras mounted on arms, we've done all sorts of mix and matches of those to do these projections. It's a long process, but it's, it's a unique process. It's about, you know, exploring not just technology and equipment, but I see people exploring themselves, the people involved in this. In Christoph's work, he's, he's always inviting groups without voices to come in and speak, the homeless or immigrant populations. There's not a lot of design attention or there's not a lot of technological research that goes on to address these people's needs. So. I think it's a combination of, of having the opportunity to help people, um, and, but also getting some technical and design challenges which you just don't encounter anywhere else. Whether when they speak louder the fountains will get lower, mm -hmm. or whether fountains will be activated when they don't speak at all. Mm -hmm.